yeah, I, my connection with Club Q, um, for me, it's always been kind of a good safe space because I came out when I was 24 uh, and, you know, always just enjoyed the people there. It's not, it's not a crazy scene. It's, it's just these loving people who care about each other and it's always been a safe space. And I, in fact, met my partner there, uh, John Carlos. I met him there eight months ago um, at, at, at a show, just a random show that we decided to go to. And he was sat next to us and we just talked and hit it off right away. Um, so he's been extremely supportive as well. And he also got shot, but he's uh, he's doing well. So we were in the bar area right at the, the tables and uh, all of a sudden, you know, we just hear pop, 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 right? That's what I hear. And I turn, but as I turn, I take, I took a bullet in my arm and from the back because I was facing the, you know, my back was facing the doors. So I took a bullet in, in my arm and I just watch as several people in the bar area just go down, right? Um, I'm right next to my partner who gets shot in the leg. And then I just saw my sister on the ground and she was on her stomach. And my first instinct was call the police. We need to call the police. So I ducked, I essentially fell, but I fell down behind that, that half cover and just got on the phone with the police. And, you know, I was on that frantic, of course, right. And, just not sure what was going to happen. Um, but, you know, I'm looking over, I see my sister dialing on her phone. Um, and I'm assuming she was dialing. I was trying to call out what to her, but it was loud. Uh, we hear a couple more pops and then nothing. And I think the nothing was probably the scariest part because we couldn't see what happened. We were up at the bar area, everything that took place, in stopping him was down at the lower area. The people that hadn't been hit, they started getting up. These are just customers, people we've never met. They got up and they started grabbing towels and they started grabbing paper towels. And, and they're like, where were you shot? Are you okay? Uh, one guy in particular came up to me and he's like, you're going to be okay. I grabbed some towels, press this on the wound. You're going to be fine. And he just kissed me on the forehead. And I think that was like such a reassurance to me. I don't, I don't think I could ever, you know, that, that was just where that hope stayed there, you know? I didn't realize this to be so good um, but it set a resolve in me, right? Being shot, being a victim of this, this whole thing left me with a sense of more hope than anything else, especially with everyone coming together. This is not a time to be afraid. This is not a time to let into one awful person. This is a time to come together because what I've just been saying, this has become my motto at this point. The power of love and togetherness and everyone coming together that is going to be more powerful than any bullet, period.